Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca and today in my little world, I'm gonna show you how I made this dress right over here. This dress is inspired by a book that I have. I'll grab that right now. It's this book here. It's called Vintage Costume Inspirations. This book has some really nice pictures for mid-century type costumes but I do want to warn you if you are going to purchase this there are a lot of things that people thought were costumes but they are absolutely not a lot of cultural appropriation costumes that I wasn't aware that they were in the book until I purchased it so uh, just keep that in mind it's not the best on that but this costume is this dress right here it's actually in the cover and when i saw this dress i immediately thought about recreating it i really like how it looked so i got to work and i got started on this dress so i'll take you along that journey we'll go on that again together because it was not the most fun for me but we'll go through it together another thing i do want to let you know i do get a little bit more into how i see myself so trigger warning if you don't want to hear about me talking about um my body and my measurements because that is something that i will do um, i'll put the timestamps here as to when that is so you can skip it and please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content so you see more of it but let's get started so the first thing i did for this was the heart top what i usually do to create a heart top is take one of my favorite pocket pieces and put that on the fold i did this for my heart shaped apron that i made a few years ago the only problem about this one is that i didn't like how the heart turned out honestly like it was just way too small and you'll see that in a few minutes. Once I had both pieces, I tried to show this in a time lapse, but I made smaller hearts. All I did was kind of cut my hand like this. <laughs> Very scientific, I know. I cut my hand and drew a shape out on the fold and then started cutting those out and then decided to make all of the other ones roughly about the same size. All right, so I have 12 of these, and these are gonna go on the hat piece, four of these that are gonna go on the leg, and five of these hearts that are going to go around the waist. And I have them doubled, obviously, so when I sew them up, it's just gonna be, you know, one of each. But I'm sewing them up because I don't have interfacing, and I feel like this is gonna be easier for me. <laughs> So that's what I have on my little assistant here. And if we go over to Rosita, I have this here and I'm trying to figure out how to make some darts that it'll still continue to look like a heart, but I need to sew all of that and the darts. And we have two pieces in here. Those are the pieces I have and I'll keep working on that when I have time. After I worked on Rosita's bodice piece, I went and started gathering some of the ribbon and measuring out how much I would need for the hat piece and just started cutting those out. Once I had the pieces together, I grabbed the ribbon and two hearts that were roughly the same size because they were not. <laughs> and I pinned them together with the ribbon facing down because I was going to sew around it and then just pull it inside out. At first I thought hand sewing these would be a lot easier than doing it by machine, so I gave it a try. And, uh, you know, just spoiler alert, it didn't work out.
And you can see that once I flipped it, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look like a little heart. I mean, it did, but it wasn't the heart that I was hoping it would look like. So I tried flipping it inside out and clipping some of the edges a little bit more to see if that would help. But all I did was uh, basically create a hole in it, so that wasn't gonna work out. So the next thing to do was to bring out my machine. I sewed one of the hearts by machine and it still doesn't look like a heart. I actually missed the ribbon altogether. The next thing I decided to do, put the hearts facing each other and the ribbon going up instead of inside of the heart and zigzagging all around each heart. Zigzagging the heart all around made the heart look a lot more like a heart. And you can see it here next to the old one. So I went ahead and zigzagged all of the other hearts that I needed for the dress and the garter, I think is what that's called, and the hat. And once I was done, all I needed to do was press it. Right? You would think that all I need to do was press it. But this is like a polyester fabric. What happens when you iron polyester? It burns. It burns. Yeah. Oh, does it burn? That heart literally said, I melt for you. Oh my God, so my iron was basically ruined, but I still had to keep going. So I knew I was gonna figure something out anyway. Um, and since I didn't wanna even think about pressing anything, I went and started working on the first big heart. <laughs> I worked on creating some darts uh, and they are not measured at all. I had measured them slightly on Rosita, but I didn't mark them as well as I should have. I then sewed all the way around the heart and flipped it inside out and all I needed to do was press it. But we know that my iron isn't working <laughs> or it's a little damaged. So what I did is grab one of my scrap fabrics and ironed on top of that which technically cleaned my iron off as I kept pressing and ironed the actual piece underneath. And you might think, Bianca, why didn't you like this heart? It looks fine. Well, let me show you a little picture. Um, yeah, that's what the heart was looking like. It wasn't covering much and the darts were like, not where they had to be. So I wasn't very pleased with it. I decided I had to make another one, but that wasn't until like a few days later because I wasn't even trying to deal with this anymore. So after this, I just started working on the actual dress. Now, this is where we're gonna start talking about, you know, how I don't know how to measure myself and how I see myself sometimes. So just warning you ahead of time. This pattern is Simplicity 8518. And this is a 1978 pattern. So I used this one to create the white dress under, the white dress actually. Uh, this is a size eight miss. According to the measurements, there was no way that this was gonna fit me. So what I did was I wung it, cause that's what I do, and try to see if I can figure out how to make this, piece, this dress fit me.
To make the bodice piece or the heart piece, I grabbed the bodice piece and put it on. I tried it on and kind of outlined a heart on the pinned bodice. Then I unpinned it and drew out a heart on the red fabric that would hopefully fit the actual bodice after it's been pinned. I made two of those and I saved those for later. All that was left was to make the bodice. And like you know, my iron isn't working, so to press everything, I needed to use my handy dandy extra fabric. So I finally finished putting the facings on the bodice piece and I'm not very pleased with it here. The edge, I don't know if you can tell, but it is not straight. I did not do a very good job at creating a straight edge for the facing pieces, but it is what it is. So I made some clips in the inside to make sure that it'll line flat and I did understitch it. I remembered that at least. <laughs> Days passed <laughs> and the next thing I was working on was the actual big heart. I sewed all around it, clipped it, and flipped it inside out. The next thing I did was gather up my skirt piece. So what I use is some crochet thread and I use a zigzag stitch with the crochet thread inside and that makes it easier for me to gather my pieces just by pulling the crochet thread. And what I love about it is that I can reuse that crochet thread if I don't catch it. Catch it. So that's always great for me. After I gathered it, I put it on Rosita to see if it looked good, and would you look at that? A smile. <laughs> and since I liked how it looked, I just had to sew those two pieces together. But oh no, something happened. I sewed over the bodice while attaching the skirt. So our good friend, the seam ripper, has to come out to play. I re-sewed that and now I can clip that excess fabric and save that. It's good to save because we will be using some of that for a future project later on. So make sure that you are subscribed if you enjoy these, this content, please. I would love to have you. Okay, and one last final tr trigger warning. Uh, this is where I do start getting a little vulnerable and explaining a few things. Um, so just in case, you can skip this section. Hey. So I know I might be doing like a voiceover, but I really want to talk about how, and trigger warning, this is probably like body dysmorphia. I'm going to be talking about my body, but I have a serious problem with how I see myself apparently because I, I, my size, I never am the right size. So 
I made this piece bigger because it's not my measurements. And like, what is this? This is gonna be way too big. And like, even the length is ridiculously long. I mean, I could obviously just hem this, but this is too big. I always have that issue where I think I'm doing it right or that I should do it a little bit bigger because the measurements just don't add up. And I know that each pattern has ease. I know that, but I think I have about like two other dresses that I've just created pleats in the back, um, like some darts after I had completed it. So if, if ever a time, um, that I do need to make it bigger, it's, it's there, but I don't know why I do that. Do you do that? Let me know in the comments if that's something that you do too. And if you have any tips on how to fix that <laughs> or make it better, let me know. Okay, look at this hair. Okay. Mm oh, wow, it's very dry. I need to put some like moisturizer on it. But yeah, if you know of any tips to not do that and don't go tell me that I need to measure it correctly because I think that I do and then I it doesn't show up. I don't know. Any tips or recommendations, I accept. <laughs> Let me keep working on this one because I don't even know when I'm going to post this. It's, it's February 19th, so five days after th Valentine's Day, not Thanksgiving. What? What? Okay, let me just go back because I obviously don't know how to talk anymore. After working on the dress, I decided to work on the hat piece. And I did not throw away the first heart because like I said, I used it for this section. I used the same pattern piece that I had created to make my Valentine's Day hearts to make this hat piece. I ended up tracing that within that heart. And since I had two of those, I sewed those up and stuffed my pattern piece, which was cardboard, inside. I measured out a little bit of elastic and sewed that onto my hat piece. Because there is still a little bit of an opening if, of the big heart, I just glued that. Honestly, I couldn't be bothered. I didn't want to deal with sewing it anymore. I just got my handy dandy glues, glue gun and glued that piece. But I did sew the elastic. <laughs> I grabbed my tassels with my little hearts and started gluing those all in the center of the hat. I measured a thicker piece of ribbon to go around the top of above my knee and I glued the two hearts for that piece on the ribbon as well. And right over here, this is where a bit more of the confusion comes. The dress didn't fit on her. So I obviously, I think I just have some problem with measuring myself, I don't know. Let me know if you have that same issue, but it didn't fit on her, so I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so here, what I was doing is grabbing all of the little hearts that are gonna go on the dress, placing them where I liked, and then hand sewing them on. And 
once I was done hand sewing them, it is time for the reveal. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I want to do a little recap on this project. As you saw, it was not the fun project that I wanted it to be. Um, having the iron melt the fabric because I didn't know what type of fabric it was didn't really help. But I think at the end of the day, it turned out pretty good considering all of the issues that I had. And that's not mentioning all the ones that it does have. But I'm not going to show you that because you don't need to see that. <laughs> I do think it looks really cute, but I don't think it's gonna be a dress that I'll be able to wear, you know, on a Tuesday or something. I think it looks really similar to the artwork that I had the inspiration from. And let me know what you think if you do agree with that. I think it looks pretty good considering. Another thing that I really wanna talk to about is the material and what I used. The white fabric I had gotten from a thrift store as a bed sheet. The red fabric, apparently, it's like a polyester, but that I got at an estate sale and they are tablecloths. All of the ribbon I had mentioned in my Valentine's Day heart boxes that I got at Facebook Marketplace. And the zipper that I used, I got from one of my friends, Nikki Marie. It wasn't the funnest project to make, but it definitely challenged me in many ways and that's fine that's good that's good to be challenged every now and then <laughs> if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to see more videos like this one if you do happen to make something like this or if you are inspired by a costume and you'd like to share it with me please make sure to tag me on instagram once again i thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time